Welcome back to Black Cat Crypto Club. Guys, I am getting wild with the videos today. Uh, just a lot going on, actually. We've had another bill uh, that has passed the House um, and is on its way to have a vote in the Senate again. Guys, we've seen the uh, SAB 121 repeal bill go from both uh, and be passed by both parts of the legislative branch. Um, we just saw yesterday the um, Bit 21 bill passed the, the House and is on the way to the Senate. And today we just had another bill pass which pertains to crypto. So let's go over to this. It says uh, U.S. House passes bill banning Federal Reserve from launching central bank digital currency. Now, guys, this doesn't necessarily have anything good or bad to do with Bitcoin, but it is very important. Like I've said in the past about central bank digital currencies is what a central bank digital currency would do is essentially take all of the power that that something decentralized like Bitcoin gives you, gives you that control over your finances, over having a permissionless uh, way to send and receive value. Central bank digital currency would be completely the opposite, where it would place the government at the very center and in con complete control over that finance, right? So uh, they could decide that um, you've, you've hit your quota on buying something at the grocery store and turn you off for the week. Or now, you know, obviously that se sounds kind of extreme, but it gives them that power. Um, or you don't pay a speeding ticket and you are instantly shut off from all of your finances. Something, you know, it gives them that power. It's a whole different level of Big Brother. Um, so this is very important, guys. And the House just passed a ban that makes it illegal for the Federal Reserve to... Uh, launch a central bank digital currency. So this is very good news. Now it does have to go through the Senate and the White House, and whether it whether it makes it through that process, I guess we'll see. That's you know the Senate is where uh, Senator Warren is at, and she is very pro CBDC, central bank digital currency. And I've shown a video in one of my previous videos kind of showing how excited she is about central bank digital currencies. So we will see about that. Now, guys, a big thing that I've noticed in talking with people about Bitcoin is when I bring Bitcoin up to somebody who kind of knows what it, what it is, but not hardly. Uh, the biggest criticism I get on Bitcoin is that it's a government uh, conspiracy thing that the government just wants us to go digital and that way they can control it and, and we won't have uh, cash anymore. We want a cashless society. The government wants a cashless society so they can control things. And that's what they think Bitcoin is. That is not what Bitcoin is. Bitcoin is exact opposite of that. Bitcoin is as close to cash with improvements <laughs> as you can get. Central bank digital currency, on the other hand, is exactly what they're thinking. They want, you know, a central bank digital currency would seek to get rid of cash and give government that full control. So... It, it's kind of it's kind of a bummer to see people that think that's what Bitcoin is, but that is one big hurdle that I've noticed myself having uh, with talking to to people about Bitcoin is they think it's this big brother digital uh, currency that that's totally controllable, and it's it's 
just not that. But anyways, I digress, guys. Let's go back over. I want to show you guys a clip from uh, Congressman Tom Emmer, and I believe he is the one that wrote this CBDC ban, this bill that the House just passed. But I want to show you guys a video on what he said about this. So let's jump back over there. Listen in. This week, House Republicans, as, uh, uh, as Blake just... I don't know why this isn't going full screen. ...said are going to take... <laughs> okay, well, we're just going to watch it action like this, I guess. ...to safeguard our... Maybe. Give me just a minute, guys. I'm sorry about this. I clicked something wrong, and... This week, we House Republicans, as, uh, as Blake just said, are going to take action to safeguard our American values by passing uh, my bill, the uh, CBDC, uh, or uh, the Central Bank Digital Currency Anti-Surveillance State Act. With this uh, legislation, we're going to stop unelected bureaucrats in the Biden administration from using a central bank digital currency, again, a CBDC, that threatens to destroy the American way of life. Unlike decentralized digital assets such as Bitcoin, CBDCs are a digital form of sovereign currency designed, issued, and monitored by the federal government. In short, a CBDC is a government-controlled, programmable money that, if not designed to be just like cash, open, permissionless, and private with a capital P, it not only could, it will give the federal government significant transaction uh, level data on individuals and the ability to suppress uh, politically unpopular activity. We've already seen examples of foreign governments weaponizing their financial system against their citizens. In China, the Communist Party actually has the digital yuan that is being used to monitor its citizens and they are building social scores based on behaviors. Uh, again, that's an anti-American approach. Close to home in the Western Hemisphere, Canada uh, froze the bank accounts of hundreds of truckers uh, protesting the vaccine mandate in 2022. If you think it can happen, think again. It has and it will if we allow this to happen here. It's naive to believe that your government will not weaponize the tools that it has to control you. This may be why the Biden administration issued an executive order placing urgency on CBDC research and development. All signals point towards this administration developing a CBDC that can and will be used to surveil and control Americans. The Federal Reserve has even described it. Don't listen to them when they tell you that they're not doing anything. The Federal Reserve has already described CBDCs as one of their key duties in a document that was provided to my office. In doing this, the Biden administration has proven they are itching to trade Americans' right to privacy for a CCP-style surveillance tool. House Republicans are not going to let that happen. 165 members of our conference have co-sponsored our CBDC Anti-Surveillance State Act, and it has garnered wide industry support. This bill ensures that Congress, not the administration uh, or the administrative state more uh, specifically, retains the authority over the United States digital currency policy so that it reflects our American values of privacy, individual sovereignty, and free market competitiveness. If not open, permissionless and private, again, with a capital P, like cash, a CBDC is nothing more than a big government surveillance tool that will be weaponized to oppress Americans' freedom uh, and right to privacy. I encourage all of my colleagues, Republican and Democrat, to support this bill, which protects innovation and defense against an ever-expanding government surveillance state. With that, I, leave, I yield to our majority leader. Okay, so you can kind of see what he's saying there is, you know, this. I don't know that I completely agree that he's completely, you know, uh, doing this for the American people by any means. But 
I, I don't know. I'm very skeptical skeptical about uh, politicians, but guys, I'm going to jump over to this other tweet, and I kind of talked about how I've talked uh, about in several of my uh, previous videos about how the Democrats kind of bolster themselves as being a party that is very much about and for the working class. And we're going to go over to Ver Eric Voorhees. And this guy was an early, early player in, in the whole Bitcoin story, basically. Uh, but this tweet he just put out today says, why do Democrats love the Fed so dearly when it's been the primary driver of economic inequality? Meaning the Fed is definitely probably the biggest tool that has made the rich richer and the poor poorer, you know, economic inequality. So guys, the, I was kind of looking at that, that tweet and the way that I have kind of come to think about politics and the, the two party system is, is this way, you know, you have the Democrats that say they're very much for the people, for the working class. And, um, the way they want to go about providing for the working class is they want to give power to the government have power to big government and they're they're they say that you know you know they want government programs like welfare and and these things and by giving the government power to do those programs this will benefit the the working class the people we just have to give the power to the government the Republicans on the other side, uh, they also, this is kind of where I was short-sighted when I was saying that the, the uh, Democrats were kind of the working class party, but the, because the Republicans also tout themselves as being very American people, very working American, uh, you know, party. But the way they want to do it is they want to take power away from the government and give it to big business. And that's where you get the trickle down economics. You get you got to give uh, business. You got to make things good for business and make things good for big business and corporations. And when we do that, then those benefits will trickle down to the people. So really, on one side, you have uh, the Democrats that want trickle down from government power. And then on the other side, you have Republicans that want trickle down from big business and economics. But really, you're just trading one master for the other. Neither party is truly for giving power to the people. And that's why that's why I often say it's a one party system, because there's nobody that is really wanting power to the people. They want big government or they want big business. And that's how I've come to view our political system. So anyways, guys, that's about this video. I may be back in. Uh, 30 minutes when we get a decision on this ETF for Ethereum. Uh, but if, if you guys liked any of my video today, please again, consider going over and donating to Olive Branch Animal Sanctuary. I leave that description in the description of the, or that link in the description of the video. So make sure you guys go over and help them out if you can. It's very much appreciated on my part, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.